All right, it's your boy King CJ in the building. Today we're going to be looking at the monthly numbers from Marvel Future Revolution. This is something that I do on my videos every month to see and track where the game is. So here we go. Let's pop right into it. So here is a app I like to use. Name is App Sensor. Right there on the top level, you can see. Now let's go ahead and hop in. So. It looks like from last month we have 200k downloads and we have one million rev revenue. So I will go ahead and say I think this one is a oh look, guys. We got the <laughs> the boycotts going on down here, but from what it looks like, it looks like not much really has changed. Um, this was like 1.1 million, so uh, you can at least base it off that we lost at least. 100k um even if you go look at the little app sensor and just type it in it should probably give you an absolute absolute uh um, actual estimate of what we lost um however this right here is android um well this is google play um if your numbers are like this in google play then this is fine so there's no need to like cause an alarm for that. But I'm going to go over to the other side. And I think this is probably where we should have very big cause for concerns. Um, I'm going to switch over right now. We did not crack $1 million in revenue for Apple. Um, there is something that you guys have to understand. When it comes to these mobile games, if you're a mobile game, you want your game to be popular with Apple. Um, I say that because if your game is popular to Apple, majority means that you're going to have like a very big successful game. You're not going to be successful with these numbers on Apple. I'm going to keep it very honest with you guys, especially if your rank is this low with Apple as well. Because you have to, as as your target base, you want to target the most popular countries. And the most popular countries are the United States. Um, you have Russia. You have Asian countries. Um, I, I mean, I'm like a continent, if you want to say. I mean, I, I guess Asia is a country. Um, but you know, within those, it's kind of almost their own country, whatever they got going over there. So, you know, you got China, you know, Japan, like the, those things. Every single one of those, the the biggest population in those are, they're, they're, they're Apple users. Um now you can say fortunate or unfortunate, but that's just the case. So if your game is not popping on Apple, it's never going to grab a bigger player base. And the, the truth, truth be told, that's kind of just how it goes. And for a fact, we didn't even crack two million revenue. This unfortunately, we didn't even crack two million revenue this month. Um, that is a huge blow. If we're gonna have start having months where we're not cracking one million, then we're gonna be looking at a Marvel Revolution, not Marvel Revolution, um, Marvel Realm of Champions situation where I told people when when Marvel Realm of Champions first released, it had numbers kind of like this. Like in the beginning, it was making some money, um, making like you know some millions here and there, and you know, people were like, okay, we have time with this game. It's fine. Um, it's not going anywhere. You know, you had YouTubers say, oh, man, the numbers are disappointing. But, I mean, the numbers are still there. And then slowly over time, you start seeing the numbers dip. And then you start seeing numbers like this where it's not even making a million in one month. Um, I mean, it's making a million overall in one month. But... You might as well say, like, it's not making a million, period, if you're going to make under a million in Apple. Because this right here is the big thing. And let me tell you guys why you want to, right? Because let's look at our contemporaries, right? So we have Marvel Future Revolution. Um, 
as you guys can see, it made a million and Android wise, 90K downloads last month. That's what it looked like. And oh wow. And then let's open up this one and let's show their iPhone numbers. Let's go ahead and show their iPhone numbers. And here we go. These are their iPhone numbers. 70K downloads, 700K revenue. Um, you don't hear much about this game at all. Unfortunately, this game in popularity is like non-existent. Um, why? Because it's not it's not hitting with the iPhone base. It's not, it's not hitting with the iPhone crowd. It's sure it's, it's like 900k downloads, one million, and then this one is like 70k downloads and 700k revenue. This game would be doing so much better if it could find a way to hit the American audience. But the diff the thing that's the problem with Netmarble is they seem to not know how to market towards the American audience. Um, which is why these games, unfortunately, aren't looking too great. You have to understand what you are looking for in order for these games to succeed. Um, as you guys can see, Marvel Contest of Champions, um, it also lost some money, which that is bound to happen after you're in your quarter one. Um, but however... The thing about them losing money is they're still making seven mil. They're still making five mil. They've only lost eight hundred k out of those mils from last month, and you could chalk that up to like there was just no events or anything going on. So it was like really nothing to spend money on. Uh, I think the characters that even came out was um, I don't even think that the characters that even freaking came out last month were even that good as well. Like they were pretty. Uh, um, but I expect to see this number up come up, especially with uh, Omega Sentinel and um, Psylocke, Captain Britain, and then we got these uh, juicy side events with the Karina challenges and everything. So I'm more than uh, capable of seeing that these numbers are going to go up. However, when I look at things like Marvel Future Fight and Marvel Future Revolution, I, I, I'm not seeing nothing in the future. Rather, if that's farther down or upcoming soon, that's going to change these numbers from where they are. So, um, I just wanted to go ahead and bring these out here to you guys. And, of course, hashtag boycott Marvel Future Revolution. Um, I, will glad, I will say that, of course, we don't need a boycott right now. As you guys can see, our numbers are severely lacking, and this is not going to help as far as uh, right now. But I feel like short-term losses can be very long-term gains, in my opinion. And I think they just need a wake-up call. So, this is where it's going to be at for now. And I hope that Netmar will see these numbers. And I'm pretty sure they are tracking them. And they try something different than what they are doing. So, with all that being said, man, I'm out of here. Peace.